What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Trey with Ghost Tactical and today we're going to go in our next uh, video in the series of LPVOs or Low Power Variable Optics and today we're going to show you how to zero an LPVO. Now each LPVO that you have, whether it's 1 to 4, 1 to 6, 1 to 8, 1 to 10, you read the instruction manual. They might tell you the best way, the best yardages uh, to zero it but uh, today we're going to go with a Monstrum Tactical. This is a 1 to 4 by 24 first focal playing LPVO. I really do enjoy this. This is a great product. You can get it for around under $200. And for the price, this is one of the best values out there. Uh, but Monstrum Tactical does a great job uh, building their optics. And I want to say thank you to them for sending this to me. And, and we're going to go through a, a, an in detail video on this specific optic later but today we're going to utilize this to zero now when i've been using uh eotex which are holographics or a red dot on my battle rifles and all of that i usually run a 36 yard zero if you're interested in finding out more information about the 36 yard zero check the link above and it will definitely get you some information on our video on the 36 yard zero now with LPVOs, a lot of them say maybe use a 100 yard zero or the 5200 yard zero, and that's great. But what I'm gonna do is, since this is a one to four, which means I'm gonna try to keep this usually within 300 yards, 250 to 300 yards of my target, that's gonna only be utilizing a one to four. I am going to go ahead and zero this at the 36 yard zero to see if it runs. Now for LPVOs, when you zero it, like I said, this is a one to four. You want to try to zero at the maximum magnification. So we're going to go ahead and set this all the way to 4X, which is the maximum magnification for this. We set our target up at 36 yards, and uh, what we're going to do is, is take a couple shots and see what happens. Now, there are many ways to zero your optic, whether it's a fixed scope, an LPVO, whatever it is, your red dots. There are a lot of different ways to zero it. What we're going to show you is probably the easiest if you're new to optics and new to zeroing. So what you want to do first is find your target, find that bullseye, get squared in on that, take your shot, and then find that hole. From there, while you're still looking down the scope, make sure that you're still on that bullseye, and then move the elevation and the windage knobs up or down, left or right, whatever it is, to where the reticle is now on top of that first hole. Take a couple more shots, and every shot you take, you might have to adjust, but you're going to go back to that that bullseye, and then when the hole is, you want to adjust your knobs to where that reticle is kind of walking it in into those holes. It may take you five, six, seven rounds, whatever. Sometimes it takes one or two, but it might take you five, six, seven rounds to get zeroed in, but take your time. Don't try to rush it because there's no sense in going through this process and utilizing the scope if you're not going to do it the proper way. So take your time. If it takes you five, six, seven shots, or if it takes you two shots, make sure that you've got a consistent zero. Now, as you can see here on the target, down here was the first shot we took. We had to dial it up a lot and then to the right. And we kind of walked it into the bullseye. And then we finally were consistent with it. We went over to this other one here and took one final confirmation shot and dead on balls to the bullseye. So we're good to go. So the next thing we did to test out the zero, especially the 36 yard zero, is we took some shots at the 100 yard steel and at the 250 yard steel. Once again, the 36 yard zero is not supposed to be a precision zero. It's a battlefield zero that's anywhere from one yard out to about 300 yards are gonna get you within a six inch group. So with LPVO, it actually makes it a lot easier going up to four power, seeing that 100 yard silhouette and the 250 yard gong out there. It makes it a heck of a lot easier and the zero performed flawlessly so guys once again however whatever distance you decide is zero that's 5200 100 whatever your application is going to be used for for me i'm going to use a one to four for more close quarter stuff out to about 300 yards so i like the 36 yard zero for my red dots and we went ahead and tried it with this and it works we shot it at 36 at 100 and at about 250 out here and we hit target just fine 
hit our targets and silhouettes very, very easily. So you can run a 36 yard zero with this. So that's something to keep in the back of your mind. So zeroing is going to be just like zeroing any other scope, except you just want to make sure when you are zeroing an LPVO, you want to zero at the maximum magnification. So if this is a one to four, go ahead and turn that to four X, zero it at that point, and it's going to work regardless, especially with the first focal plane, that reticle is going to get bigger and smaller as you zoom in and out and all that might help you with that. So uh, guys, like I said, this is a Monstrum 1 to 4 by 24 first focal plane, great optic, one of my favorites actually, and especially for the price, you can get it well under $200, sometimes about $150. This is for the value, this is as good as it comes out there. So go check out Monstrum Tactical. We will have a dedicated video just on this optic here pretty soon. But zero in LPVO, I hope this has helped and uh, make it a little bit easier if you're out there if you're beginners LPVOs hopefully this made it a little bit easier to where you're going to uh, be able to get that zero at whatever range you want to whatever distance you want to very easily so you can get accurate shots on target so guys get out there be more proficient with your firearms and uh, check out other videos in the series we'll see you soon Semper Fi Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the content. If you are and you're interested in more about these LPVOs, go ahead and click the playlist below. If you're interested in our podcast, our swag store, anything and everything that we're doing, check out our website, ghosttacticalproductions.com. Until next time, stay frosty. Simplify.